this is Don't Try What I Do. Um, I'm doing a scooter test or scooter check and a drop test or drop whatever. Um, nothing's new on my scooter. I just repainted my bars. Um, um, hold on. So, starting at the top, I got black ODIs. Focus on that. And screwed up ODI bar ends on both sides. I got Twan knot bars with the Twan knot sanded off. On, as you can see, it's off of both sides. I got it uh, sandblasted so they, so they, it came off. But I don't care because I don't want some guy's name on my bars. So I got 18 wide by 23 high. I got the Pro Comp clamp that kind of matches the scorcher forks with the holes in the side. I got the Phoenix Reventon deck um, 4.65 version. I got a white on black Epic Quakes dual and a red Phoenix flex fender. Um, that's the drop test. My brake vibrates a lot because I couldn't get the rubber dampener under the brake, so I put it right here with a washer. I don't know if it's working out too well, but whatever. And uh, this paint's holding up pretty good. I used uh, Rust Oleum primer and Rust Oleum red paint, and I used Krylon clear coat. I put two clear coat or two coats of primer and then I waited for like 12 hours then I put a coat of paint on then I waited like 24 hours I think then I put the second coat on and let it dry during the day because it was sunny and then I um, um, put clear coat on and then I let that dry for a little bit and then I put a second coat of clear coat on and then I let that dry for 24 hours and then I put a third coat of clear coat on and it made them real shiny um, you might like if you paint your bars with rust oleum you might want to wait 48 hours after you like do everything but to put your clamp on because when you slide it on it'll like pu push up the paint and you'll be screwed like your paint will come off like as you can see my paint's still under there like under the clamp got scratches in some places that's just because I take my clamp off a lot and that's it thanks for watching